Hey, say something. No. <laughs> Dogs do talk to us, but some just do it more than others. Love you. When it comes to communicating, these beloved breeds use a sometimes excessive mixture of barks, howls, and yaps. And they're not afraid to express their minds. If you're looking to adopt a pup of your own and are worried about neighbors complaining, then this is just the video for you. What you're about to hear is the most dramatic thing you ever heard in your whole life. <laughs> Welcome to AnimalTube.tv. Today we're counting down our top picks on the top 10 talkative dog breeds. <laughs> Number 10. German Shepherd The most talkative of dogs are actually on the smaller side of the scale, but the ferocious yet endearing German Shepherds never adhered by any rule. German Shepherds are what you get when you combine wicked intelligence with high energy levels, so you get a dog that speaks its mind. Properly trained and with sufficient daily exercise and stimulation, the worst of its talkative nature is curbed. But due to their reserved nature, they bark and growl to keep people from invading their space and to warn others that they want to stop playing. They also love to indulge in a barking session when excited and energized. When they're bored, they let out these low, short barks that are spaced apart. Now, before we move on to the next breed on the list, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell, or else this angry chihuahua will be biting your nose when you're sleeping tonight. Trust me, it really does. All right, let's move on. Number nine, Pomeranian. The Pomeranian is a miniature-sized spitz breed, meaning its family with the likes of the Huskies, Akitas, and Malamutes. And they have the bark to prove it. If a Pomeranian hears any noise that it deems threatening or unusual, they respond with a high-pitched shrill, and they're always attached to their humans and eager to share their opinion. This attachment makes them extremely vocal. When a stranger, especially a child, approaches, Pomeranians have a distinct low growl that basically says to leave them alone. Number 8. Dachshund with the history of being bred in Germany for hunting rabbits and badgers, the Dachshund is a fearless breed that's not afraid to speak its mind, and they have a lot to say. People look at their adorably short legs and long bodies and think that they're the perfect family pet without any extra training. But as wonderful as Dachshunds are, they don't exactly have the family pet temperament. They'll always be hunting dogs at heart and love barking, chasing, and digging. Number 7. Basset Hound A Basset Hound is not likely to win any speed races anytime soon, but there is something about those long ears and droopy eyes that makes everyone fall in love with them. <coughs> However, their hound nature is never forgotten. They always like to be in the thick of things, so when they are left alone, they'll sound a loud hound howl in protest. Basset hounds are a very social breed and need socializing, especially with people. If not, they'll let you know that they're lonely with their distinct howling and their barks that can travel long distances. <coughs> Number 6. Australian Shepherd Australian Shepherds have it engraved in their DNA to herd and keep everything running smoothly. And to do their jobs right, they rely on barking. And even if they aren't actively on duty, running around the fields, herding flocks, that instinct still runs deep. Australian Shepherds not only love to bark, but they have other vocal communication skills. Oh yeah? Well tell me some more. They woo-woo and whine and owners usually learn to understand these sounds, which leads to the dogs repeating them louder. These Shepherds will take to barking and generally becoming destructive if bored. Let's go for a ride. Oh, okay. I hear you loud and clear. Number 5. Chihuahua To prove its obvious superiority, a Chihuahua compensates for how pint-sized it is by being one of the loudest and most talkative dogs ever. Their lung capacity alone is remarkable, and their boisterous personalities are unique. But at the end of the day, both can be exhaustive. If your chihuahua feels threatened or that you are in any sort of danger, they'll have a shrill yap to express their protective desires. That's why a lot of training is recommended to tame that need to constantly bark and yip. If you do, you'll have the perfect lap dog that's forever loyal and attentive. 
Number 4. Yorkshire Terrier In true terrier nature, Yorkshire Terriers will never shy away from a confrontation. Its tiny little fur balls of a body are full of courage and loud protests. Their method of expressing alarm is excessive yapping. Number 3. Miniature Schnauzer Never take the miniature schnauzer as a passive breed that's just content to observe the world. When something crosses their path, they turn their feisty levels up to 100. By that, we mean that they excessively bark at nearly everything. Although they're the smallest member of the schnauzer family, they're considered a terrier, and they share that terrier temperament. All of this makes them qualified watchdogs in addition to being able to perform their jobs as vermin chasers. Miniature schnauzers thrive under owners who frequently exercise them and wear them out during playtime. Though, truth be told, they'll still yap while playing. Well, what? You already went outside. Number 2. Beagle When they're chasing a scent, this scent hound will give long howls that will let anyone in proximity know what's happening. Beagles also tend to pick up the howl from other dogs that are barking in the street, neighborhood, or other noises. Beagle owners are well aware of the unique sound they make, the infamous bay, which is deeper and more drawn out than a howl. If your beagle wants your attention or is trying to scare a stranger, you'll hear that bay. And when they're on the hot trail behind prey, they'll make a type of yip that's called the short bay. And fun fact, beagle owners report that if they begin to howl, their beagle follows as well. Number 1. Siberian Husky The Siberian Husky is also one of the exceptions to talkative dogs normally being small in size. <laughs> but keep in mind that this majestic breed is used to living in packs and communicating with them. When living with humans, that translated to a lot of howling and vocalizations. I love you. I love you. Huskies' bold personalities will allow them to let you know what's going on in their minds. Huskies talk through howling, barking, or they even have a fun singing combination of the two. That's all, folks. Now, before you close this video or jump on to the next one in the queue, let me give you a challenge, and let's see if you can do that in five seconds. Get ready! Your time starts now. Press the like button for this video, followed by the subscribe button, and then the bell button. Let me know in the comments if you managed to do it in five seconds. Thanks, and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta!